YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Might I just say, I am so happy that WWE 2K22 is getting so much love. Now, as you all may know, A for One Aries is an avid WWE fan, and he's an avid WWE 2K fan. So for WWE 2K22 to be the phenomenal game that it is, it gives me great pleasure. And this is my official review for the game, as well as you see I got some gameplay for y'all, man. Drew McIntyre versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. But let's get this one thing out the way. It's your boy, Jay. <laughs> Aries. Now let's get right into the review, Bob. Well, you know what I'm saying now first of all the combat in this game the combat in this game is very fluid this is not just your typical old WWE 2k entry this is not your typical old wrestling game this game the tagline was correct it hits different but let me say real quick man I know y'all missed me. I know y'all missed the WWE videos, but 2K20 is so trash. Shout out to Brandon Does Everything. Shout out to Denkai. Shout out to all the content creators that were able to make some magic with 2K20 because I was not one. I couldn't do it, man. Like, that game was just so bad. I don't understand how people were able to make content on it. All the my careers, I mean, all the universe sims, I respect it. But listen, man. Baby Aries is here. Baby Heath is here man and i'm so excited you see i hit him with a future shock ddt i'm so excited to introduce her to the world of wrestling i thought i was gonna put him away i ain't gonna lie so excited to introduce her to the world of wrestling man drop a like if you fuck with baby heath man drop a like if you fuck with baby aries and drop a comment if you would for what you think the first match i should show her should be man you know what i'm saying the first match when she gets older should it be Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker? Cena versus Styles? Like, what should it be, man? Come on. Like, I need I need to hear something. But, hey, man. This game is a banger. Hold on. You see him with a stone cold. So I thought I reversed that. I thought I reversed that, man. But that's another thing. As I was saying, the combat in this game is so fluid. Literally, it's so... There are so many sequences in this game. So much possibility. First of all, I'm so glad they removed reversal limits. So, some people... The people either have two opinions on reversal limits they love reversal limits they think it's good for the game they hate reversal limits i am on the latter i think reversal limits promoted less skill you can literally just keep stomping on someone wait till their reversals go wait till they use their reversals you could use the spam reversals method you could use the running away running out the ring until your reversals recharge method i was actually at a tournament last year someone tried that method on me it was very embarrassing. It's very annoying to play against. Just run out the ring and wait for your reversals to come back. Like, that's cheesy. And no one wants to see that. Everybody who was watching was like, yo, what is this dude doing? We started doing a 10 count for him to get back in the ring. If he didn't get in the ring, he was disqualified type shit. But nobody likes that. The people that like reversal limits, I, I don't even know. I really don't know anyone who likes them. So defense, that brings me to defense. The defense in this game is amazing. First of all, there are three different options of defense. You can reverse, you can dodge with the RB slash R1 button, or you can actually counter. So you can actually anticipate or guess what button they're gonna press when they get you in a combo. So as for reversals, reversal button does not always pop up. Like for example, if you're stuck in the middle, of, if they hit you with a first strike and you're stuck in the middle of a combo, you can either anticipate the combo with the proper button either x a or b x x for light a for heavy or b for grab or you just got to get punished like you can't revert you can't revert. if you're already stuck in a combo you can't reverse it now if someone hits you backs away hits you backs away which you are gonna see it experience some people doing i can say i mean it depends on how you view it i see it as playing smart but i could i could also see how it can be like cheesy like you know what i mean it, it, it could be cheesy it's very it can be very annoying to play against you also have an instant kip up uh type of mechanic where you press i believe r1 l1 and it gives you an instant uh instant get up you have to use one of your three bars for your signature in order to do that also i like the resiliency this year 
The resiliency is really good. It takes away two bars. So there are a lot of good methods on defense. As I said, the instant recovery, the reversal, the counters, the dodge, there, there's so much. Ooh, you see I hit him with that Claymore. And another thing is I like the new kick out methods and I like, I've always loved button mashing. Like who wants it more? I, I've always loved that. So as for the button mashing, so you spam A or X if you're on PlayStation, you spam A in order to kick out of it. And it, it leads to longer matches. It honestly leads to longer matches. Obviously, the more damage you take, the harder it is to kick out, but it leads to some fantastic matches. I had like a 25 minute match with my boy, Mr. Snowy last night. It was so fun. They're so fun. I plan on playing later today. Every, I just feel like every, 2K, 2K did their thing because I, thought i reversed that stunner 2k did their thing this year i gotta give it to them because considering their history with nba considering how much they could have messed this year up and don't get me wrong this game obviously isn't perfect every wwe game for whatever reason has its bugs every wwe game has their share of flaws you know what i mean but like it's it's really nothing notice it's it's nothing too bad it's nothing too crazy the one thing I didn't like, I don't like how certain wrestlers can't be in the game. I feel like I feel like for the Rey Mysterio showcase, for the Rey Mysterio showcase, there were certain matches that should have been on there, but maybe they didn't have the time. Maybe they didn't have the deadline, which doesn't make sense because they have the commentary for it. For example, Rey and Dominic winning the SmackDown Tag Team Championships definitely should have been definitely should have been a playable option, especially considering Corey Graves mentions it on commentary. If you catch it, you catch it. If you don't, you don't. Um, they could have had Rey Mysterio beating Samoa Joe for the United States Championship. I believe it was at Money in the Bank 2019, I believe. Um, they could have had some of his wars with Chris Jericho, but honestly, the showcase mode is always about that long, so it was, a, it was a pretty valid showcase. I loved what they did with it. I loved the cinematic during the the cinematic cutscenes during the matches, and it just looks so fluid. The way it transitions back to the gameplay is so fluid. Like you know, in like W 2K14, WWE13, when there was the Attitude Era and the 30 Years of WrestleMania, you could tell the animation switching. The animation it, it's so thorough this year. It's, it's literally so good and i'm so i'm i'm really happy for them obviously i have nothing to do with 2k but i'm really proud of him he caught me with the third son i thought this was gonna be it for me but you you see me i didn't even use my resiliency like you see me man but 2k did they thing this year this game is honestly so good but yeah like honestly they i i'm happy for them dog for real you see that like just look at how fluid this gameplay is obviously it still it still has some hiccups but it, it's lit literally it can make for some bangers it can make for some fire sequences you can reverse a reversal um they took out a few omg moments apparently i don't know why but oh you see i hit him with a claymore kick my guy come on now but the other another thing i don't like let's get into my rise now my rise that's, I have mixed feelings about my rise. I love my rise. Well, the only thing I don't like, I feel like it doesn't make sense. Why would y'all make two? It's like 2K. They give people what they want only so much. You give us a Dominic Dijakovic model. You give us an old Shawn Michaels model. You give us Pop Paragon J Pierce. You give us these, give us these players and tell us we're not allowed to use them basically and then come out with it and then y'all come out and say that we're never gonna get to use them that's disrespectful that's vit that's literally vintage 2k it's literally what y'all do with nba y'all like to tease stuff there is no reason at all anybody that's in the game as play that's playable we should be able to use i mean anybody that's usable i mean we should be able to use simple it's no excuse i don't i this shouldn't be a conversation to be honest it do, it really doesn't make sense to me how i don't i don't know wwe just has to do better in that aspect because it, it literally doesn't it do, literally doesn't make sense to me why we can't use dominic why we can't use old sean like it's just goofy to me but overall 
I think this game is definitely one of the best wrestling. Uh, it, obviously, it's too soon, but it gives me very much 2K14 vibes. They brought back leaderboards. They brought back rankings. You can see people's records now. Obviously, I, I'll play anybody, but I'm just saying. It, it definitely leads to some good matches. I believe it's probably going to have some form of skill-based matchmaking, which sounds really good. You don't want to play scrubs all day. You don't want to play spammers all day. I really, I really love this game so far, and I'm really excited with the direction 2K is going in terms of their wrestling games. I really hope that they keep this up. You see, I reversed the Stone Cold Stunner. I really hope y'all enjoy this gameplay. You see, I caught him with a big boot. He's using his instant get-ups. Y'all don't want to use that. You better keep that resiliency, man. But you see me. Mm, another big boot. Like I'm catching him lacking. And you see, I'm setting him up. One, two, three. You already know what time it is. Claymore County, man. And with that being said, I'll leave y'all with this. One, two, three. It's your boy, Jay Aries. New video dropping soon.